Sebring, the 13th annual running of Sebring. And uh, we wanted to come by and look at an aircraft that, well, we hadn't seen. I believe I've seen this in Europe, but we've never seen it here to my knowledge. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking with Chris Suba, who is representing the Echolot line. And we have one of those over my right shoulder here that we've seen before, a lovely little airplane in the LSA category, but this is new, Chris. Tell me, give me some of the basics about this airplane and what the idea behind it is. Uh, this is a light sport aircraft, one-seater, uh, it's something which we can call as a self-launching glider. Uh, well, it's got the Polini engine on it, but this is option with the electric engine. In Europe, they do check with the electric engine and they are doing good. I'm hoping that our, our FAA with the adjustment for the one-seater will not have any problem with the registration. Well, I, I don't think so. We have not seen, I believe I know of one other um, light sport aircraft single seater, um, and we haven't seen much in that range, but as I look at this airplane, it's got very clean lines, a cantilevered wing, all, is it is it carbon fiber or fiberglass? This is carbon fiber with the Kevlar material. Uh, they did really uh, pretty good uh, work on it to, with the weight, the weight of the airplane with the parachute and all equipment is uh, a little bit over 280 pounds. Okay, that's, that's very light. That almost makes part 103, but not quite. And it's a little fast for that, I'm guessing, looking at how sleek this is. Yes, yes. So what's happened is uh, this has got pretty good uh, uh, gliding ratio. Uh, which about uh, what? Do you know a number for that? Between 22 to 29. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. That's, that's really quite strong. Yeah, based on the, what is the equipment. This one doesn't have the air brakes and it's got a little bit low on the weight. But I think the way how we operate and with the manufacturing, they will be able to go more of the gliding uh, with the air brakes and everything else. Right now is a regular five gallon tank, which is, the airplane will fly one hour, four liters. A little, little bit over uh, a, a gallon, gallon, about a gallon a an ga hour. Uh, uh, per hour, <laughs> yes. What kind of retail number are you expecting for this when it's a light sport? We are expecting a little over 30. 30? Yeah, $3, that's the start starting base price. Okay, and that would be roughly as we see it here? Uh, this one is a little bit more because it's got the glass cockpit and it's got the parachute in. Ah, okay, uh, okay. This is the ballistic parachute and it's got some little bit more of the designing situation. But we'll, we can go affordable for people who are enjoying both. Enjoying the flying, enjoying the gliding. We'll hope then people will enjoy flying this airplane because that's what it is. We're lowering the price as low we can go to enjoy to be in the air and you know this also for little travel. If somebody want to travel a little bit from airport to airport just have fun that's what this is for. I can see a market for this kind of thing arising and especially if you're interested in gliding and, and more than 20 to 1 is, is a good number and as high as 29 that's a very solid number for an aircraft in this range. And I think some people would find that interesting, but even if they don't do that, it's an intriguing airplane for a relatively low price. It's ready to fly now. Yes, not ready to fly. Okay. fly. Uh, we are thinking about uh, maybe having even the kit. For some people, they like to play with the, in the hangar, and that will be also offered maybe later on. Okay, so that's interesting. First thing will be a, a special light sport aircraft, fully manufactured compliant with an airworthiness certificate but then a kit maybe to follow yes Just clarifying that's what you yes. meant to say okay i think that's great chris tell me a little bit about the engine the polini engine but this one is the uh, one cylinder two stroke 29 horsepower 29. engine and the 29 but as i mentioned this particular one can lift a person with the 255 pounds really this mean uh, with fuel and everything else, you can still put that. Yes, yes, inside yes. That's pretty good, actually. Twenty nine horsepower enough for that. Oh yeah, that's what is the whole thing. You know, that's what this particular uh, construction of the designing is a perfect. It's a no more than 
30 horse, it, it will do more. You don't need any more. You don't need it. So that's 29 not, that's is the perfect number. That's yes. All it needs. That's all what you needed for a particular weight. This is 550 pounds total weight. Uh, one thing which every glider pilots like it in this uh, when they are using, you don't need any service. Anybody to help you with the wing, right. with the, with the, yeah, kind of self launching. Marvel. You know, uh, if you're the only guy at an airfield and you don't have a whole tow operation able to help you get aloft, a glider will get you more performance, no question. A big, big gliders can do as much as 50 to 1, uh, and that's remarkable, a great engineering achievement. But you've got to have somebody to get you up there. And if you don't make it back to that field, you've got to have some way to get back to that field. That's, that's for a, a lot of people, that's just a bit too far. So a total self-launching capability. With good gliding, you could go up on a decent day. And I'm an old hang glider pilot. Anything over 20 to 1, I could I could stay up almost all day yeah. on a good day. That's what is the whole thing. That's what they like it in Europe. That's what is a very strong... Very big market yeah. for that. There's yeah. a substantial one here, too. So yeah. the empty weight, you said 280? This particular one with the parachute, with the extra, you know, that's what this is. Because okay. Okay. this so was starting... Even lighter than that. Oh, yeah, because okay. we, uh, we have this as a design without the parachute, without the range forcing construction was under 254 pounds. Wow, okay. So this mean this was ultra aircraft. light, you know, uh, uh, category, but right. only because of the speed, yeah, you know, it's, it's got the... Yeah, it's a little too fast, otherwise yes. you could qualify. Control system, it looks to be completely conventional. Is it steerable nose wheel? Yes, okay. it's steerable. And and regular joystick and pedals on both sides then? Yeah, and it's got the, also a brake okay. for the front wheel. I the, see it, okay, and that brake is on the front wheel then? Okay. Yes. And of course, you know, we added a uh, brick for the uh, propeller. Ah, that's what that other handle The black is. The handle. You can see, but just beyond the joystick there is another handle, and that's to... Uh, when you shut it off the engine and to stop the uh, propeller spinning. So it's a brake for the prop. Yes. So after. that then it will go streamline on Yes, you. yes. And that's then when you fire the engine up again, it just flips look, out. Yes. You got it again. All right, uh, Chris, that's great. Uh, tell us how we find you on the web so that people can keep track. You're not ready with this yet to deliver it, so we won't ask you about delivery dates and stuff, but for people who want to follow up on that and keep in touch with you, where do we send them? We'll put it on the screen for them. This can be on the ecolotusa.com, okay. or we can go for westecolot.com, or we can go ecolotpl. Thank you for that, Chris. Uh, I'll try and keep track of this. This is kind of a particular interest of mine. I like soaring flight. And in general, I'll keep, I'll keep up with what Chris is doing with his company. You can find all that and much more on the affordable aviation range at bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Chris and I here at Seabrook. Thank you.